Hey, char people, char heads. It's JR. We'll be live here at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, be answering some questions, doing trivia, song meanings, all kinds of fun stuff like that. So join us here in about two and a half hours. I'll be calling Ben Boone. I'll be calling Ben Frazier and hopefully Seth Wagner from the band, and we'll be discussing some fun stuff. So shoot over some questions. We'll be showing you our gear, uh, favorite pedals. I'll be showing off my double chin. Um, so hope everyone's staying safe out there, um, doing what they can. So hope you guys join us here in a couple hours. See ya. This is that weird part where the person that's gone live doesn't know if they've gone live or not. They look all funny trying to figure out if they're live or not. I'll give a few minutes, see if people want to join up. Hello, if you're joining live. Hello, if you're watching this in your story later. I promise not to be walking around the whole time and making everyone sick. Um, I will sit down eventually. Um, see some people joining up. Hey, guys. Hey, Ben. Hey. I think my children are on through my wife's account. Mike, what's going on, man? Miss you. So here's what's going to go down. Um, I'm going to call the Ben's. Uh, we're going to call up Ben Boone here in a minute. We're going to talk music, talk about the band. Um, hey, people asking questions, saying hi already. What's going on? What's up, Ben? So we'll talk a little bit about the record, talk about some inspirations, probably show you guys some of our gear. Again, hello if you're joining live. Um, Boone's not at home, so we'll just kind of chat. But... Uh, yeah, I wanted to start with, with something I play a lot um, before I call Boone um, here. If you, uh, maybe I'll call Frazier first. Frazier, are you home? You want me to call you first and then I'll call Boone? Maybe Boone can get home? I don't know. Let me know, guys. Um, I wanted to show my piano here, though, first um, before we go upstairs. Oh, you're quarantined, right? I get it. Awesome. Well, I'll call you here in a sec, Ben. Let me uh, show my piano and stuff. A lot of my gear is upstairs, so I wanted to show some stuff down here and then get upstairs before uh, my family starts to go crazy. We've been locked in the house for a while, and my kids and wife are going crazy, so I got to go escape so I don't annoy everyone with my live video. So uh, I'm going to go flip the camera here. Uh, my at Opportunivore Instagram, I play a lot of this guy. This is something I've got recently from my grandmother. Uh, who passed away. My Aunt Judy sent me this. Um, it was handed down. It's a cable imperial piano. I love it. It's not perfectly in tune. It has issues like when I hit this, it just sustains forever. It's supposed to use the pedal for that. Uh, probably need to have it look at, but I love it. It's really helped my songwriting because as I've learned chords and writing, it, it really shows you where people are going and what they're thinking, how many songs are very similar and uh, whatnot. Here's a funny example. Uh, like uh, the G, D, A minor, C is basically like, uh, hey now, you're a rock star, get your show on, get paid, closing time, turn it off. It's so many different songs. So it really kind of shows you like how you can differentiate yourself from other people. Plus it's fun to play silly songs in different ways. I absolutely love this thing. Um, I feel really lucky to have it. So I wanted to show you guys that before I go upstairs where all the rest of the gear is and I, I shoot Boone a call. But yeah, stick around. This is uh, what we're going to do. I see my homeboy Matt from Versus join Versus Skateboards, baby, for life. I think I have a Versus shirt on too. So when I show some of the gear upstairs, I'll show some of the skateboards too. Deal? I'll try to hold the camera like this so you guys don't have to see my double chin the whole time. One more thing I've been demoing on, just a shout out to Ludwig. Their pocket kits, this little guy, is basically a real drum set. Um, I know Boone will tell you when I call him here that uh, the demos I'm gonna do with my iPad, even with just a iPhone earbuds microphone, sounds like a real band because Ludwig just makes good stuff. That's, a, that's the Questlove pocket kit, they call it. Super cheap and affordable. Everything comes in the box, like the whole kit, sticks, symbols, the throne, you know, because that's a bummer for kids. They buy a drum set and then it's like, oh, you need the symbols too. 
All right, connection is terrible upstairs, so I might not do much up here. I'm going to go ahead and try to give Boone a call here and see if we can get Ben Boone on, guitar player from Arctic Char. What's up, dude? What's going on, man? Nothing, man. Are you? Just laying down in my bed, you know. <laughs> quarantined all day. <laughs> it's too sexy. We're going to get blocked, man. Yeah. Well, okay. I, I can't, won't be sexy. <laughs> uh, here's Dexter. Dex, come here. Look. Yes, we need to see all the animals we can. He just got a haircut today. The groomer's open. That's Dex. Say hi, Dex. Up, Dex? Say hi to Uncle JR. What's going on, man? He loves Frazier. He fuck yeah, he does. He <laughs> loves, loves to hate him. <laughs> How are things? Taylors. There's How's, the Taylors. How, how, how are things, man? How are the guitars? Two Taylors, not? Yeah, you know, I got my C14 next to me and my baby Taylor. Oh, I guess I got to hold this thing away from me. Yeah, a little bit. You got to, like, do, like, the selfie thing. Like I said, I'll try to go up here so we don't get double There we go. Hey, look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. My house is haunted, so that's why you <laughs> see this aura, you know, in my house. <laughs> no, man, that's my little 314 and my little baby Taylor. Nice. I see your brother just showing stuff, Aaron. Oh, nice. What's up, bro? But yeah, man. Things are good, dude. Just this shit's so weird, you know. Yeah. yeah. Quarantine. There's the there's yeah. golf course. Live on the edge of the golf. So what? Do you, what have you been yeah. doing, man? Have you been watching any live music, or that's kind of a good yeah. one for me. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of producer videos. To be honest with you, um, nice. I need to get back into the rocking, but I've just been making beats, man. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm 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 saving all my rock with you for you guys. Yeah. Yeah, it's you know. been tough not playing live, man. It's it's one you realize how much you miss it when you don't do it. Yeah. And then with I I've been watching like live music YouTubes and they're just like Yeah. Have a lot they're a lot more effectiveness right now. Uh, right. Because you can't go see it. Uh it's pretty for chisel. <laughs> nice. Uh I saw some like Paul Stanley just played three songs in his by himself on YouTube yesterday, you know, for no yeah, reason. Yeah. Did you notice yeah, the snark? He he uses I the did. snark, but I it did. wasn't on the guitar while he was playing. We'll yeah, have have... you sent one that was flipped around. Like I started, I swear I started that trend. You got to flip <laughs> around, you know. So you're like looking at it upside down. But we're talking about this tuner here. We we all kind of yeah. argue in how cool these are in Arctic Char. Like how rocking you can be with a tuner. Fuck yeah, uh, we're sponsored by Snark, or maybe we <laughs> sponsor Snark. I don't know. Either way. Uh, Paul Stanley uses one, but not while he's playing. He just had it on to tune, I guess. Yeah. Let's let's see some of your electrics, man. You got some sweet ones. All right, cool. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go show them to you. Here we go. Maybe show, kind of point out which ones are on the record. Um, we had a record coming out, and you know, whenever with this whole thing going on, we yeah, are kind of uncertain when when we're gonna release. Um, it's basically in the final stages. That's right. Yeah, it's right. really awesome, awesome equipment on this record. There's one of my favorites, yeah, man. Like, yeah, this is all over the record. This is the Gibson uh, Custom Plus, if you can see that. Whew. Gibson Custom Plus, she's my baby. There's Frank. He they just got haircuts today. And then <laughs> Frank. over here, this is my guitar rack. So, you know, I got the Indonesian-made uh, Ibanez RG, which is a great guitar, even though it's made in Indonesia, which is fine. Um, DeMarzio pickups in it, which are pretty sweet. This is tuned down a whole step. That's why you, you guys have never seen it. That reverse headstock's dope, though. Yeah, it is, definitely. That's my E2, probably my favorite guitar, to be honest with you. The ESP E2 um, with EMG pickups, if you can see that in there. Yeah. The EMGs. Nice. This is on the album. Actually, yeah, this is on the album. Uh, yeah. The USP on one song. It's funny. It's the poppy song that's like I'm, I'm playing a metal <laughs> guitar, <laughs> you know. What's like, that? Your Mind is Gold or which one? Yeah, Mind is Gold. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, total metal guitar, but we make it work. That's what's cool about our band, right? <laughs> and then my Strat, that's all over the album too, I think in a couple songs. Mm -hmm. Another Strat. It's an American that's Fender pretty. Body. I like that color. Is that sonic blue? Yeah. That's yeah. beautiful. I like that. And then a 1983 Ibanez Roadstar, my bass, and then my baritone, PR Smith baritone. Those are nice. And then man, down you got there, a lot of Ibanez, man. I do. I There's do. another, speaking of. That's the 87 reissue that I love. That guitar is, is, the neck is the greatest. 
nice. far. Yeah, that's pretty much it, man. You got a little station there where you do the demos and stuff? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Put a little piano in. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's what, program, what program are you using? Uh, using Cubase 9.5. I mean, I know a lot of this. I'm probably going to ask you all, you and Ben, both questions that you know I know the answer to. But. No, you're good, dude. <laughs> oh, wait, I got to show you my – this is one of the best purchases hey, what's I've that? made. Dow. What's that? What's your DAW? Uh, Cubase 9.5. But what are you using that? It Scarlet, right? Oh, uh, no, I got the UR22 at Steinberg, so that's Cubase. So Steinberg is Cubase. I have uh, eight inch Mackies, my studio monitors, which are just beasts. I love them, man. Nice. Uh, the best purchase I ever made was this Akai MPK 249. So it's got your MPC built in right here, 49 keys. Nice. Uh, so you can see I got it set to Cubase because that's my DAW. It's even got <laughs> faders, but I don't really have those mapped or anything. So I need to do that. You just have that MIDI in? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's yep. very cool, man. Very yeah, cool. dude, it's it's awesome. Yeah, I love Turn it. Turn that effect off. <laughs> what effect, dude? <laughs> have peach ring. Don't discriminate. <laughs> All right, I'll turn it off. Whoops. Hang no, on. you're good. You're good. Uh, okay. I got, so I got some questions. I got some trivia. I've done a few things. We can Stop keep it pretty loose. We can keep it sure. pretty loose here. Yeah. Um, I kind of wanted to start with where we kind of, you remember. I mean, I can talk about it a little if you want. Um, I remember your brother, I was hanging out with your brother. We have mutual interests. And uh, he was like, you know, my brother's down Burlington. Right. I remember we, we used to play baseball together when we were kids. And, and you know, we started hanging yeah. out. It kind of came out first, I think, that you had a podcast. And I had, right. just, I had had one that had ended maybe a year or two before, and I was really missing it, like, doing that. You get so addicted to doing it. That was and then all of a sudden, time. you can't anymore, right? And you find yourself on Instagram like this. Right, but, right. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I remember being really interested, and you guys had me on about, like, some InfoSec stuff. There yeah. was some encryption. Remember, there was John McAfee was all over talking about encrypting iPhones were, at the time. You were on the – do you use even cyber? Uh, yes, so. yeah. Do you even cyber? That's right. Do you even so, cyber, bro? Yeah. Do yeah. you even cyber, bro? Yeah. Uh, so that's when I met you and Gavin. And, you know, we had just through talking before and after the podcast, we figured out, you know, you guys were jamming. Right. You played guitar. Gavin played bass and I played drums. And it just kind of, we, we I, the first time we jammed was at Rewind, right? Yeah, I believe so. That's right. No one, no one had a, a rewind downtown. Yeah, no one had a place. I was in no bands at the time. Right. I think I had my second kid, and I was almost kind of giving up. Like, I'll just do my own thing. I'm playing with Frazier and some things. And at that point, I'm doing some commercial stuff. So I was like, eh, maybe I just won't be in bands. And I remember telling you guys, like, no ego. We'll play covers. This is just going to be for fun. Remember right. that shit? Uh, and it was fun. It's cold, man. Cold. Yeah, it's cold, cold up in here. No, it's actually <laughs> but, uh, you know, but yeah, for we, sure. No, almost we did all the fun covers, you know, like the E major, E minor shit. We did like right. uh, Black <laughs> by Pearl Jam. And we did, uh, yeah. we Fox did Foxy Lady. Lady. Fox, yeah. I still want to do that. <laughs> Funk 49. That Funk 49. All that, that was fun, too. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. It was fun. That's what it was. We kept saying, this is fun. Yeah. We wanted to do Turn the Page. Right, Is right. That how Fraser came to the fold. Yeah, right. That I do like. I, it's funny. Yeah, it's just a funny joke that like, oh, I know a guy that plays sax, and yeah. he also plays a lot of other stuff too. It's pretty awesome. Right, right. So, oh, so, does he play the sax? He play he plays that thing like, like I've never seen before. <laughs> <laughs> so he kind of joined up then. You know, yeah. I knew his I knew his power at that point. You guys didn't and I didn't. I didn't know he could sing like an angel too. And an play angel guitar. from hell. Yeah, so yeah. he's playing and guitar play. and all of a sudden that just started happening. It just was uh, easy. It was real easy. Mm -hmm. Like stuff really happened crazy. with Gavin and we kind of broke off and we decided let's just keep jamming. Right. The three of us. Right. Um, I kind of started, you know, getting the the knack, the itch again, I guess you call it. And like, I got to I start writing songs. I was like, oh, no, this is maybe I should do a band. And, right. you know, we, we had Seth join Wagner yeah. on bass. Uh, I think he, Frazier is a mutual friend. Papa Seth. Um, yeah, man. Slapping the bass. It's all by that. Slapping Adam. the bass. By that time, I had had a place with Adam in the White House. Right. Yeah. Mm hmm. 
and and we just started started jamming and and there may have been a little bit of foxy lady in there but it really turned into originals pretty quickly do you remember right. what the first one is i bet fraser does i don't do you the, the first original the, or the first original yeah i want to say stinger i thought it was stinger for sure but there's yeah, i sure think i think tech i think full song it was stinger mm -hmm. i believe the first riff might have been chester Possibly, yeah. So like I mean, jam that riff for a while. Or yes. there was another song we had that again was E major, E minor, A. It was, yeah. and but it was a song we don't have anymore. But it was just kind of a jam. That may have been the true oh, right. first one. I can't remember how it went, but and of yeah. course we had uh, Smythe Love that Seth still wishes we'd play, and me too. It's a <laughs> song at Fraser Road. Yeah, we'll we'll eventually write Smythe. that song. <laughs> right we have songs we can write and we have songs we've literally wrote in five minutes and then you know we still have songs that we're, we're currently in the process of writing right well yeah. what i was right <laughs> so um let me grab a question real quick do you why don't you tell people where we're recording at we are recording at midwest audio recording downtown bloomington with rich i don't know rich's last name Murapugo, Murapugo, something like that yeah uh, it's been great. It's been, a, it's been a process, but it's been great. It's been great working with them and we're excited to get, we're almost done. So yeah, uh, we're on the horizon. I got to kind of shut things down. That sucks. Yeah. A little bit. Luckily we're in the stage where we're done tracking and it's on his plate. Yeah. Now, stuff done, right. right. Exactly. Um, so what's your favorite song on the record? Just gotta ask, man. Damn dude. That's hard. It's well, so my got, favorite. So let me say, let me say this. Let me okay. say if I'm gonna ask you next what your favorite song to play like live is. That's what I'm going. To. So let so you get a little chance to. That's to get what I was, so that's I was gonna I was gonna caveat that first. Yeah. I was gonna I was gonna say my favorite song to play live is Chromatos. I just love that song, and actually it's a fucking badass song. I mean, mm -hmm. I love the song. Um, it may not be for everyone, but I just I I love it. Just to, number one, playing it. Mm -hmm. And to me, I love the story it tells in it, too. And it's just a fun song to play. It's so fun to play. And it literally kicks you in the balls, you know? Yeah. And it just I, tried to play, right. I tried to play Papa on the acoustic with no warm-up all the way yeah. through accurately the other day, and my arm almost fell off. Yeah, right. <laughs> Papa, Papa's another just like a steamrolling. I love that song, too. That's a really fun song to play. Yeah, the we'll talk about, about it that one. We'll talk about that one with Frazier because he has some of the history behind where that song's come. Can, For sure. Uh, you know, the evolution there. But my let's favorite, hear so you, my so favorite Chromatose, song. I would agree. Well, I would agree on Chromatos because, but it, it's a very like, if you're in the band, it's fun to play kind of right. song. Right, you know, exactly. and we've had mixed reviews from people where they'll they won't get it at all, or they'll be like, "Whoa!" Right. Um, usually, our friends that like harder stuff, and more metal, mathy yeah. stuff, yeah. enjoy that one because they right. get what it, what it took effort wise. Yeah, um, and then the other people are looking for that song that they can repeat, listen, general background music kind of a listener for that sure. doesn't really ever kind of strike them. You know, there's more sure. skipper for them. For what do you sure. like? What do you like on the record, man? I think honestly, my favorite song to listen to is probably Ghost. Ghost is pretty good. Ghost. Yeah, it's my favorite song. I just love it, man. I love the the darkness, the haunting, you know. But there's also it's a you know a crescendo. It's a it's a you know it's a nice little wave you kind of ride and yeah. It's just a good song, man. I just think it's a really good song, and it, that's a fun one to play too. That's I love playing all the songs, you know. I really mm -hmm. do. I mean, like even even Stallions or Come to Terms. Right, you know, it definitely it has its place, and it's a perfect outro song on the record. Well, so, I appreciate that because I heavily yeah. wrote to both of those. <laughs> right, but uh, yeah, man, you so. know, for, I agree, man. Like those yeah. are both really great, of course. But you know, for me, I really like the ones that we all kind of did in the room together. Stinger, we all yeah. did in the room together. Right, your mind is gold. Mind we is all gold. did in the in the room together, and that's right. kind of dope. You know, like I, yeah. I and for that. the most part, Chester too. I mean, I just had that one little riff that I ripped off of another band mm. that was super fast tempo, oh, right. though, and I slowed it down, and I made it into like a little exercise. But I was like, oh, that's a cool little phrase. And then you guys took it from from there. I mean, we wrote some cool parts to it, and it's a yeah. Chester might be the best song. To be honest with you, Chester's good. I mean, you know, I've shown a couple of people, much to the chagrin yeah. of Frazier, it's the record, you know, but and a lot of people immediately like that one. They they yeah. call it like the pirate song or whatever. yeah, 
my but, buddy Rex said it reminded him of like going into like a bar in Dublin, Ireland or something. <laughs> and like, you know, that's a compliment, I, compliment to me, man. For, that's what I'm saying. Same here, man. Yeah. Yeah. But cool. yeah, man. Where's Fraser? We're getting him on this thing. Yeah. Let me show some of my guitars here. Uh, you want to sure, check sure, them sure. out with me? Why don't you For check sure. out with me? And then I'll, I'll check pull them out. Pull Fraser. Pull. In. I'm going back to my so, eyeballs. Well, a lot of people don't know. I, I played more than drums so i kind of write some of the stuff in the band too so i'm going to show a little bit of my equipment real fast yeah so i got the specter legend five performer bass uh played this on some cool uh bands spyclops shark flu nice. um this is um really really fun bass probably my my best bass i've ever had yeah. love the guitar strings on that dude i use the gallon kruger 600 watt for that uh, so my daughter's guitar is a squire mini uh, yeah it's the red, we call it the red mango <laughs> uh, ben fraser blessed me with this dude to play with probably my daily driver for writing right now i may play a song later for you guys if you like uh and i'll play it on this guy um but nice. this one fraser let me have uh are those now. nylon strings no, it, it's a parlor guitar. Okay, is what it's called. Um, it's Alvarez. I don't know the exact serial number because oh yeah, serial, Alvarez makes good stuff. Yeah. Their models are like AL five, AL six, five nine. Hey Meredith, what's up? I see you, Danny. I see you, Kate. Hey what's Meredith, going on, guys? What's up, Mayor Bear Stare? <laughs> so this is Alvi. We call it, and it, it's just really great. It keeps us tuned. It holds the half step tuning really well that we play in. Yeah. I love this guy. I pretty much carried around my house because I have the strap and play it all the time. Um, I'll go down the electrics. My daily driver on electric right now is this uh, standard 24 PRS, uh, mainly because it's my cheapest one. Um, I'm not afraid to nick it on anything. Um, and it's easy to play. Uh, it's light. I'm not a big fan of the veneer because it's Indonesian. And, you know, I'm, I've, I have all these other guitars that have beautiful wood. And it has a floating tremolo, tremolo bridge, which I put my hand on, and it puts it out of tune. Yes. So I probably yeah. – I love PRS, though. I really want to get a fixed bridge version made in America because it's a great guitar. I mean, I play it a lot. Yeah. Um, first great guitar, and this one's actually on the record, is Junior. Oh, that's I love that little beast. Yeah, it's a 2019 single P90 um, satin black worn ebony uh, rosewood fretboard, uh, Les Paul Gibson. My first really nice guitar, I would call it. My first one ever. Bought this when I was in the hospital having Cece, my, or Lorelai, my third child. Um, Elise let me pull the trigger on this one. This is just a cutting board. I mean, if you hold this, this is a block of wood. There's very little routing in this thing. It's heavy. Yeah. It's thick. I love playing this thing. It is awesome. Yeah, you played this on Stinger, right? I did. I played the solo on Stinger on that, yeah. Yeah, that's great. And then, of course, my best guitar I've ever had, my big boy, Smokes. Oh, um, yeah. This is the 2019 Tribute Les Paul. I love this guitar. I play it all the time. It's Dude, that guitar is so 2019. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I added the poker chip just Sick. because I like it, the aesthetic. But it's nice. It's got a really nice back. has a faux binding that I think is really cool. Um, yeah. They are great. I will tell you, like – People say, you know, you get what you pay for. That you absolutely do. I can tell playing all three of those guitars what tier of price and worth they are because absolutely. you just get what you pay for. So, hundred percent, man, hundred percent. Thanks for hanging out, man. See for sure, dude. It's fun. Skateboards man. by Versus behind me. I love it, man. I want to get a Versus uh, T-shirt. I'm probably too old to skate, so I might have to just go with a T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, absolutely. Versus Skateboard, at Versus Skateboards on Instagram. Check it out. All right, cool. Yeah, I need to follow that. All right, good shit, brother. Is that all? Is that it? Yeah, man. I'm going to hit up Frazier. It's good to all talk right, to you, brother. I'll see you soon. Good see you on soon. Soon. Yeah, man, we I'll see you soon, brother. All right, loves, dog. Loves you, Later, bro. Later, dude. All right, we're going to call up Mr. Ben Frazier. We'll talk about some pedals. Talk about some other fun stuff here. Come on, Ben. If you're just joining, welcome live. If you're watching on your story later, welcome as well. Oh, hi. Hello. Should I turn this around forwards for this section? Hello. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? Yeah. Are we camo hatting right now? We are camo hatting right now. Are we? Are we? I'm well. How are you? I'm good. I'm in the house, but I'm here. I'm also in the house. I'm glad that we're both in the house. It's true. 
it's really nice out, like 80 degrees. So hopefully people are watching this later on their story too. Just but uh, dogs. I wanted to bring you in to talk about pedals and guitars and writing songs and then the band. Went over the origin of the band with Boone, of course. So I talk about some stuff. So, cool. Uh, the record. So, what's your favorite song, man? And what's your favorite song to play live? Got to give you both options. It's only fair. Uh, I think my favorite song is uh, Mind is Gold. And I think my favorite song to play live is uh, To the Bum. To the Bum is yeah. good. Yeah, it's great. It's really good guitar tone. I mean, it's a guitar record, I would say. Would you agree with that? Um, so that's really fun to play. And I like, uh, I think it'll be a good opener. Yeah. If we could ever play live again. <laughs> it's true, man. It's true. It'd be nice to even have a practice, right? <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice to play. Miss it. It's true. Um, what are you, some of your inspirations, man? I know. I want you to tell people. I mean, you're, what do you do? You sing and play guitar, right? In this band. My inspirations? Franketh? Zappeth? <laughs> it's a big one. I, if the people who know me uh, probably know that already. That Zapp is my big inspiration. But, I mean, I'm all over the board, man. Uh, I grew up with bluegrass music. Uh, started playing saxophone in middle school and got introduced to jazz music. At the same time, classic rock. And then, uh, yeah, I, I got weird. <laughs> ween, a lot of ween. <laughs> <laughs> ween, I ween, ween, and ween. Ween and weed, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So sorry. we met. So we met. When? What year did we meet? You and I. Uh, was it like two thousand six? Maybe. So Maybe. Mother bears, right? Mother bears, right? Two thousand five. Yeah. We well, say it been like. Maybe a month or two months. I don't know. It was so long a ago. Month or, month or two before we were playing music together, you think? Mother Bears? What? I think about a month or two before we were jamming together, you think? Yeah, probably. It happened fast. Yeah. I think within a year we were in three bands together. Whistleface, Big Quit, and Spyclops, right? Those are the ones, yeah. Yeah. So we've connected pretty quick on a musical level, which is nice. It's always nice to have a partner in crime, especially when you're trying to form and reform bands and reform bands and reform bands. Ben can also play quite a few instruments, which makes it nice. Uh, traditionally, bass players and drummers are pretty hard to find. So between him and I, you can usually fill your roster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you play, play bass, bass first, bass right? Lot, but but didn't you play bass first? I feel like we talked huh? about this recently. You played bass first, right? Didn't we talk about this yeah. recently? Yeah. That was my first instrument was bass. So I remember my friend Anthony, um, who you've met, was the same way. He he was a big Nirvana fan, and he wanted to be like Chris Novoselic and not Kurt Cobain. And he actually drew pictures of the bass. And then I think he can correct me on this. I think he got a guitar, went to a guitar shop, and was like, guitar instead. <laughs> your dad is always. Yeah, around. I think I've made that full transition. Your dad's a big part of your music, though, right? Like, your dad's always kind of surrounded you and your sister with guitars and music, and, and you've been around that for pretty much your whole oh, life, yeah. right? Yep. Yep. Uh... He's where we get our musical, our musical parts, and and uh, I grew up scratching up a. I feel bad about it now, but uh, scratched up a 1970s Martin D28 when I was a little kid, hmm. 
and I scratched it to shit like damn it. So you playing Radiohead, it, but <laughs> you're like get, getting all into Radiohead or something. No, I mean I'm talking about like oh, like broke it like a, a kid. Toddler. Oh, ouch! I'm talking about. I'm talking about dad would let me play his guitar with the pick and I was a little three-year-old going, yeah. <laughs> You're just relicking it, man. You're making it a relic for him. Road yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good way to. Those sell on reverb. The road, the road worn ones sell on reverb for way more. <laughs> True, well, this right? one is a uh, toddler worn. <laughs> yeah. I was going to, let's do a fun thing. I'm going to show all my pedals and I'm going to say my favorite one and then you can do the same thing. So here's kind of what I use Pedal right time. now to, right. to write. Here's my favorite pedal. It's a kill switch. My daughter painted for me. It says kill. It's got a knife on the back. Shout out Dahlia. It's a pretty awesome pedal here. Just kills it. That's it. No click. Just beep, 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 beep. Love this little thing. Um, got this little Japanese musky compressor. It's okay. It's not quite what uh, Frazier has on his board. It does the trick when I need it, but it's very noisy and the power isn't great on it. I'm a big fan of Dan, Dan Electro products. I love the guitars. My first guitar is a 52 reissue. Actually, I like their products. Their newest line of pedals is actually awesome. It's like metal and, and they're all being made by a different company, but this is one of the cheaper ones. They're plastic silent stomp which i love um and i don't use reverb a lot on my amp so this is my reverb pedal i'll call it tuner of course probably uh, in the running top two favorite pedal right here tube screamer just i never knew until i had one that's all you really need to say it's great it makes a non-tube amp sound better it makes a tube amp sound better it's just easy to use three dials that's it it never fails me and the power is solid the click is pretty quiet Use the overdrive uh, fab also. Sometimes I stack these guys to get some meanness um, or stack all three with this distortion guy, um, Grand Magus or whatever, however they say it. PC Electronics, probably my favorite company. These three guys here, um, silent true bypass, silent stomp. These turn really easy with your feet and they're super well constructed. Um, lots of different parameters with these two pedals and the switches as well. Hard plastic. Out of Denmark. Even, really if, even if you're wearing shoes. What's that? Even if you're wearing shoes. Oh, yes. Yes. Good point. Um, I've used shoes and no shoes. Pretty good stuff. Uh, <laughs> one of my favorites, probably going to be my favorite, uh, the Whammy Ricochet. This is just crazy stuff. You like Jack White. Uh, you like any uh, Tom Morello, anything like this. Not as good as the pedal version, but quiet you can do just where it goes boo -ee, boo. Um, from that to just a click on uh, kind of octaver stuff wrote a couple of riffs with this it's great loving this guy rich that's doing our record got me this dude it does have a tube in it uh, right there it sounds amazing i use it with my box valtronic amp and it's beautiful the noisiest click i have um, this thing you can hear through the amp in the next county um, it's probably the loudest click ever it's fine it's great course works good it's just super loud when you click it um, oh, cousin Aaron. what's that cousin air is in the house what's up <laughs> later mike enjoy Talk picking up your groceries it. mike's picking up his groceries too i put these two next to each other just so you could hear the difference that's that click from the same company this is this one yeah you hear that through the amp too this, I'm going to go ahead and say these two are my favorite tie. This guy, okay, distortion pedal, but the nice part is if you put a battery in, you can stick it in your back pocket and carry it around, and it's got a speaker. And Ben knows he's used this before at some of the batch parties to, to annoy people. Basically makes it a nice little amp for you to put in your pocket and annoy the crap out of people with your electric guitar. Then, of course, the riff recorder. This That's really the point. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it is the point. The wire tap. This dude with a looper pretty much keeps my ideas from going out of my head. I'm sure Ben will tell you when you're, when you're jamming um, in your bedroom, it's easy to forget what you were jamming on five minutes ago unless you have something capturing that. So rather than turn my phone on all the time and post stuff on Instagram, we just kind of click that dude on, even if the looper's on, and it'll record. 
I can uh, take the recording, stick them on a USB drive. I've sent them to Boone before, so it's pretty nice. Let's see some pedals, Fresh. What do you got, man? What do you got, pedals? Can you hear me? You got any pedals? Let's see them. You can't hear me? Colin Frazier back. He's having issues. Please stand by to see Ben Frazier's pedals. Can you hear me? See some pedals, man. Hello. Hi. I can hear you now. What do you what what do you got rocking on that pedal board? You want to see some? I do. Do we want to go in order of the in? Sure. Yes. Okay. All right. First, I got this cord. <laughs> bright red fender cord. I like the I, I like the uh, the curls. It's it's a uh, it's easy to store. Um, moving on, this is Boone's volume pedal. It's mine <laughs> now until we can all leave our house again. So I'm playing with it. It's a uh, Ernie Brawl VP Junior. It's a really nice volume pedal. It's not an expression pedal, which is what we thought it was. It is a volume pedal. You cannot use it as an expression pedal. I tried. It's it doesn't work. Okay, moving on along the chain. This is a classic crybaby. It's dirty. I've had it forever. I don't want to show you the inside of it because it's dirty. <laughs> uh, moving on. I like to follow the chain. <laughs> we got the Wampler Ego Compressor. Um, a lot of the, a lot of these pedals I just acquired, uh, so I really didn't use them on any of the records except for one and maybe maybe two. Uh, I'm, the the next recording we do will be much different because pedals are going to be a lot more involved. So, uh, all right. Yeah, it's a it's a sweet compression pedal. Uh, it's got a blend knob, which uh, helps the squashed sound not make it so uh, apparent. Uh, I mainly use it for when I'm practicing country music, which that guy's I've been out, doing a lot. So that guy's out of Martinsville, which is awesome. Yeah, yeah, Brian Wampler, right, Brian? Yep. Yeah, he knows his stuff. All right, moving on. Uh, a little bit of local flavor. This is uh, Stigtronics, which is um, Mike Stiglitz's company, and he's out of Bloomington. Uh, he lives like 10 minutes away from me. This is his take on a rat, basically. Uh, this was used on the album for a couple songs, doubled up with another pedal. Uh, it's, I mean, it's a rat. It sounds great. <laughs> uh, Boone, Boone uses We all know that this one. We all know this. Oh, that's the zone. Get in the Some zone. Some people love this pedal. Some people hate it. Get in the zone. Uh, I like it a lot. Um, haven't used it in the band, though. I've had it forever. I just put it on my board because it's sweet. All right. This is the one we use on the record. It's pretty much the sound of our band right now. It's uh, the Friedman BOD. And, Yeah. We technically it's use the like roll, straight up. We technically use the the single version. That's kind of like the deluxe version, right? Yeah, this is the deluxe version, which basically it's the same. It's the same circuit, just with a little bit different gain, switching back and forth. And all these switches are loud, man. I don't know what you keep talking about with unloud switches, but all these switches are loud. So, <laughs> what's your all favorite? Right. So that's my dirt. What's, What's your favorite? favorite? Uh, I mean, actually, I think I like the Rodent 
of these four best. Uh, it's awesome. It's a Bloomington it guy sounds too. Awesome. But that's it's probably really just that's probably re it's probably recency bias. A little bit of recency bias too. Yeah. But uh yeah. That's my dirt. You Hopefully basically I'll get some more dirt later. You so basically, we take uh, that and we go and we go into the amp, which is a nice little Marshall DSL forty C uh with a scumbag speaker, I believe, that has been put in by Mike. Stiglitz. Uh, sounds great. Good, clean tone. Just enough power for what I need right now. Maybe someday I'll get a stack. <laughs> when do you pl- what do you but, plug in? What, just... what what bad boys you plug into that chain? Well, hold on. We got to go to the FX loop now. <laughs> oh, right, right. We're going through the chain. Go My again. bad. My bad. We're going through I the chain, little, man. I saw a little piss. I saw a little piss. <laughs> Oh well, you know. Uh this is uh this is a Behringer Ultra Vibrato. It's basically of a of a copy of a boss, um, but much cheaper. It's plastic, but it sounds really, really nice. It's got a latch switch, which is really cool, so you can unlatch it and if you want vibrato you can just press it and it'll turn on and then when you let go it'll turn off, which is a really cool feature. Um and then this is just psychedelic madness. Uh, Earth, uh, Earthquaker Devices Rainbow Machine. It's, I don't even know how to describe it. It's a modulating o- octave pedal where you can change, but you can turn it into a chorus pedal if you want. It has, I bought it because it has a magic button, <laughs> which, uh, uh, when you turn on the magic button, I mean, just look at it. It's already magical. Um, <laughs> it makes this, weird I don't know I can't describe it google it and yes <laughs> I also bought it. thank you Boone um, <laughs> another little cool thing that I just got recently are these little uh, you know you're t- talking about playing barefoot a little uh, nice stomp for your bare feet so you don't hurt your feet do they just kind of cool. like rest on top of that or does it like clip? Uh, it? No, they actually have screws, but it won't fit on this pedal. But I like to use it on this pedal because you can actually hit the magic button and it'll modulate and it'll turn off if you hold it down. So oh, okay, cool. All right, moving on. This is another Sticktronics delay pedal. This was the first one that Mike made for me. It's just a solid delay, no frills. Does the job. Sounds amazing. The pink and purple next to each other is fire, too. Yeah, I have a lot of cool tones on my uh, on my board. A lot of blue pedals. Uh, speaking of blue pedals, this is the newest one I have. Uh, it's a Walrus Slow. It sounds so cool. Uh, especially when you want to make sad ambient noises, which is kind of appropriate for times like these. So, Is that marketed as a reverb? Yes, it is a textured reverb pedal, but it's it's a lot more than that. I mean, there's some crazy delay slapbacks. Uh, there's, there's three different settings, and like the dark setting, there's this like low octave reverb that sounds amazing. Um, and obviously your, your reverb waves are different. So that's the control for this. And these are the three sets. Um, and there's also a sustain button, which is really cool, which is why I have another one of these for that. So those if quick? I hold it, if I hold down the sustain pedal, mm. the, uh, the decay will go all the way to the top. So you can make for some crazy trippy stuff there. It's awesome. Um, and Endless playtime with that. <laughs> and then a looper, which is pretty much, I guess, uh, self-explanatory. A cool thing about this one, though, is that you can play whatever you record at half speed, which is cool, or you can play it in reverse, which is also cool. So, Do you find yourself using that a lot, riding with that more lately? or uh, not, not as much as I thought I would. I do use it to practice, like, solo stuff 
and like jamming with myself. But as far as writing is concerned, usually I like to videotape myself. So, so you I can where remember you're... what Yeah. So I can remember what I'm playing. So, so anyway. Hand. Those are the pedals. I have a fever. I want more. I want to buy a pedal every single day. <laughs> it's uh What's your favorite? It's a sickness. And being is your favorite the slow inside. Not. Yeah. Is the walrus um, your favorite? I mean, right now, yeah, probably. I don't know. I really, yeah, I really like the road. I know it's, yeah, yeah. Boom plays the rat really too, like man. It. It's hard to beat the, the rat, man. Favorite. There, three knobs on it. It's real simple. Why don't you uh, show us your wall real fast? Just kind of give us a glimpse of the. All right. Let's see the a glimpse of your. You got some bad boys. Mom. I just recently... have <laughs> my mom's on. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. All right. <laughs> the wall of guitars. Uh, we'll start with this. Us. I don't know what year it is. Um, I think it's probably like early 2000s, maybe late 90s. I'm not sure. It's got sweet lace pickups. Got a Lone Star pick, which is sweet, and it's got uh, a clip-on tuner, which is very cool because we play dad rock. It's true, those lace sensors are so good. Yeah, they're really nice and quiet, and um, I like them. A lot of strap players don't like them, but I love I them. Know. I think they sound cool. All right, this thing is has just entered the stable <laughs> uh it's a loner right now from from the pops but it's a beauty it's a gretch 620 japanese made with a snark snark included <laughs> headstock inlay um i love these pickups i actually just replaced the bridge on it uh look at that used to have like separate saddles and they were really, really loud and noisy. So I replaced them with a Compton saddle, which is the guy out of Minnesota who hand makes these. The brass? Um, it's brass. It's got a tone chamber underneath here, which helps with the sustain a lot. Um, sounds great. Looks great. It's so pretty. Beautiful. Yeah. All right. Moving on. There's the char car. Yeah, this is uh the main the main guitar. I play in the band. It's a twenty twelve Gibson SG. It's probably my favorite guitar still. It's light. It uh it's good for my back. <laughs> um it rocks. My idol played one. <laughs> Two Mr. Zapper. Two of my idols. Angus and Frank. Who's the other? I'm not. One, so. Uh, and I act uh, Angus Young. Yeah. I loved, I loved him, especially in high school. And so for riff rock, you know. Hey, we got a question. Okay. Carla the Cook asks, hey, are you guys brothers? Because your singing voices sound so much alike. Well, I would think being my mom, you would know if. Frazier was my brother. <laughs> we we are but, brothers in, in certain ways. All the chars are brothers. Good point. All of you on the chat are our brothers and sisters. And people watching this later in your story, you're our, all our brothers and sisters. Love you, Mom. Love you, Mom. <laughs> okay. You want to keep going with this? Sure. That's okay. a big bad boy. This is another new one <laughs> that I've been playing. It is a Gibson L4A. Um, I named it Emmy Lou because Emmy Lou Harris plays one. So uh, it sounds great. It's dark. I've fallen in love with Gibson acoustic guitars just because of their their mellow tones. Um, awesome. Maddox and says he got, wants that. 
Maddox wants it. I think Frazier wants it too. Is that a loner? <laughs> this one might be staying in the stable for a little while. Uh, it's beautiful, I, man. And I might, I might end up playing this live on uh, Come to Terms. We'll see. It does have an input. So, mm. um, and any uh, future acoustic things that we might play. Mm -hmm. um, it's great. That's pretty, man. Uh, all right. Last one. All over this the record. Is, or is that just on one this song? Last one all. This is on two songs. Uh, this yeah. was my first guitar. It's a 94 Fender Telecaster standard. Inca Silver with Black Pearl. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm very fortunate to grow up with a really, really nice guitar to learn on. So, sounds sounds good too. It's a solid telly. It yeah. stays in tune and everything. It's a really solid guitar. Yep, been playing it for years. Played it in Cyclops. Played it in all the bands I've ever played guitar. So, yeah, this is if I had to pick a signature guitar, a Ben Fraser signature, it'd probably you be play, this one. Because you, never seen you play pretty, it. you play pretty hard too. And for a telly, that 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 yeah. thing holds holds pretty well for as hard as your right hand plays. Yep, putting elevens on it helps too. <laughs> Amen. So, uh, and then I have, I ran out of wall space. So this is uh, an Epiphone J two hundred, pretty much. Uh, oh yeah, that used to live at my house. It's got a huge, huge, big sound. Um, that, that guy lived at my house for a long time. I wrote a couple songs on that. That's pretty. What are some other hobbies we have? Yeah, other my, my daughter is asking, other what are hobbies. some other hobbies you have? I have other hobbies. Let's hear it. Well. Yeah. I fancy myself a bowler. Pretty darn good bowler, I would say. You won't toot your own horn, but shish, you per I won, both I won, perfect game. I won, the, uh, I won the handicap invitational. I still have the trophy. I have to give it back once, uh, once it uh, resolves, <laughs> once this whole uh, quarantine thing. But uh, it, it's the Peyton Manning <laughs> Memorial Trophy. I'm very proud of it. Nice. I rolled. A perfect, I rolled a perfect game in that tournament. So, Whew. that's something. That's not my only other hobby. Do. Except big green eggs, uh, smoking, smoking meat. Uh, yeah, I like making meat. All right, I got one more guitar for you. Let's see it. Lil Piss. <laughs> I bought this at uh, at a junk shop in Spencer, Indiana. It's a Japanese Starfire by EKS. It's 50 <laughs> bucks. I loved it because it was little. It looked like piss, so I named it Little Piss. It doesn't have anything on the headstock. It's kind of uh, famous on Instagram when I first got it. <laughs> I put a Seymour Duncan Hot Rail pickup in it. Nice. Uh, it's great. Follow that fun. hashtag. It's fun little guy. Little Piss. Follow that hashtag. I should make an Instagram handle just for Little Piss. You think Lil Piss will make it on the next record? I can't. I, I can't imagine it won't. We'll see. We'll see if a song. I do have a song that I wrote on Lil Piss. Let's hear it. But we'll see if it's big enough to transfer it to a big guitar, huh? I was kidding. I said, "Let's hear it." What's that? Uh, uh, one more thing I wanted to talk about here before we before we before we get back to our eighty degree weather. Wait, my mom said something funny. Funny, I named my first car Baby Poop because it looked like green, Baby Poop Green. All right. All right. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. It's true. I mean, sometimes you got a Baby Poop car. Um, yeah. Sometimes you're driving sometimes around you have and a little poopy. <laughs> um, one thing I want to talk about real quick before we peace out and um, – we did the half a house recently, right? Wasn't that that was kind of fun? What were your thoughts about that? It was, it was a great time. Uh, it sounded amazing in there. There's a tiny little, tiny little trailer. Yeah, they Jay, live in. 
Jed reached out to me and I didn't really have to convince you guys too much to do it, but we got there. It was just a trailer. And we were kind of like had yeah. maybe five, 10 minutes to talk. And then we played our songs and then we went on our, about our day. It was no do overs. No do overs. What, what songs did we play? No. Do uh, we did come to terms and I called it stallions. <laughs> Right, which is was it, its former name. I still think we should do a parentheses yeah. thing. You know, I'll come to terms with sure. parentheses stallion, and then sure. uh, <laughs> and that was that was the one they posted, mm -hmm. and then uh, what was the second one? Ghost, ghost, right? Yeah, a two power battle. Yeah, it was fun. I mean, I I highly suggest you follow them on Instagram. There, it was a good time. I had a good time doing that. Um, couple of really nice people. Um, can't really beat it. Um, it's hard, and you, you know they were in Eltsville, uh, kind of like downtown Eltsville, um, like right off of the square, and just kind of like an old behind an old house in a cool like old trailer. What do you think it was like seventies, six, eighty kind of trailer? Um, we were just in the corner of it, right. Mm -hmm. I, I thought I thought it was crazy. Like you said, it sounded really good. They gave us one take of each song. The song they posted actually has a mistake in it, um, but we. I just thought I thought it was really fun. It was like a super fun time. Um, it was a lot. We kept saying like this is a life experience we probably won't have again anytime soon because you don't expect to do anything like that. Um, I'd go back for sure. Jed and Dan were awesome hosts. Oh, we got a good question. Jeffers is back from groceries. Do do any of your songs have bird references? I'll let you take that one, Fraser. Oh, he left. I got to call Fraser back for that one, Jeffers. It's too good of a question. I think it's just his connection. I got his internet connection over there in Brown County ain't great. Yo. I got to let you take this one because it's about lyrics. Do any of your songs have bird references? Mike Jeffers 79 wants to know. Hello? Mike wants to know. Yes, bird references. Do our songs have bird references? <clears throat> Bug references? any bird references that's Go. too bad we got some don't you have a couple things about bird we law have... in treasure chester not that i know of <laughs> good question your network's terrible you're cutting out well fraser i'm gonna go can't hear you so we're gonna do it this is fun though i'm gonna play a song on my acoustic and then we're gonna peace out love you frage so the other song we played on half a house was ghost you really should go check that out um h-a-t-h-a-h-o-u-s-e -H 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 on instagram half a house pretty cool people they're doing some neat stuff over there Frazier's trying to get back in. I can't deny him. He's the lead singer. We got to go live. We got to go live with Frazier. We can't leave him hanging. He'll quit the band. I need my singer. What's up? You better? I can't hear you. I can hear you I hear for you. now. Okay. I'll ask you one question. And if you're still here, when I get done asking the question, you can answer. Then I'm going to play a song and we're going to peace out. So your question is, what is your dream guitar? If you could have any.
Later, Fresh. Love you, man. All right. We got through pretty good without any mistakes. By any, I mean only like six. Thanks for a few of you for joining live, um, whether you're related to us or friends or not. Appreciate it. Um, thank you. We'll do this again if we want, if we can't get out of the house. I miss these guys, so I get to at least talk to them at the very least um, during this. So beautiful versus skateboards. Check them out. Check us out uh, on Instagram, Arctic Chard. Let your friends know. Our record will be done soon. Um, this stuff is fun, um, so we may keep doing it. We may not. Um, anyway cut me off for some reason so we're back give a second for people to join back in maybe if you do if you don't you'll watch this later anyway piano my grandmother uh passed away nanny roan got me i wrote this uh song for her um when we started the band i'll go ahead and bring it full circle um, when we started the band i lived in a house um on roar road um and in that house, um, in the mornings, I would go upstairs on Sundays and I would write songs and I would um, basically send them to the band and say, what do you guys think? Um, this one, everybody seemed to really like. Um, I'm very lucky um, as a drummer to be able to write songs and give them to these guys and that they like them and they want to make them part of this whole band. Um, sorry if this keeps glitching. Um, Apologies. Um, we're, we're stranded by technology here, so we're doing the best we can. I'm going to try to play a song. Hopefully it sounds good. Um, if it doesn't, I apologize. Um, this is called Ghost. I wrote it for my nanny Roan.
That's how I'll always remember you Thanks, guys. Appreciate your time.